What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash of Dark. Today we've got a crazy war going on. It's all Town Hall 13, 30 versus 30, and we caught it all live. There were a lot of amazing attacks that went in from both sides during this war, but one attack in particular caught my attention. It was done by Raze from Raze Gaming on YouTube. If you haven't checked out his channel, definitely go look it up there, Raze Gaming. And he came in with a Queen Charge Minor attack that utilized the new Siege Barracks. And the way he uses it is absolutely genius. I can't believe we didn't think of this before but he's going to show us how to get it done in today's video and then we're going to dive into a whole bunch of more live action so we can see awesome attacks across the board and find out exactly what is working at town hall 13 so make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button and today's video is sponsored by raid shadow legends so i've been playing raid shadow legends a lot probably put in four or five hours a day seriously four or five hours a day playing this game is really awesome let's go check it out Introducing Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a turn-based RPG done right. I know you've already heard about Raid everywhere, but there's a good reason for it. Raid is one of the top three ranked RPGs on the Play Store and it's just been nominated as one of the finalists for the Google Play's Best 2019 User's Choice Award right up there. This game's been crazy popular, guys. It almost has 15 million downloads in the last six months. So what is Raid? Well, it's an epic dark fantasy done right. A hero collecting turn-based game with over 400 champions for you to collect and personally customize. And the best part, it's free to play. So one of the coolest things about this game is when you get bad champions, you can use them as food to upgrade your good champions. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the portal here and we're going to use 10 ancient shards here and we're going to summon up some champions here and hopefully we can get some good ones. Let's go for it and come on. If I can get lucky, we'll get something good here. So, oh, we just got Aethel. I needed her. I'm definitely going to hold on to this Aethel, though. I've been trying to get an Aethel for quite a while, so pretty awesome that I was able to grab one while I'm recording this. Next up, we got Sakira, an epic. So I don't know much about her, but she looks pretty badass. I'm going to find a way to integrate her into my team. Next up, we got Magisters. I got two of them, and whenever you get duplicate heroes, you can sacrifice one into the other to boost their skills, and that'll save you skill tomes. So what are you waiting for? Go down in the description of the video, click on the special link, and you'll get 100,000 silver, two clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards, and this total badass, the Executioner. This package is only available for the next 30 days, guys. So click that link now and come play with me, and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, definitely go click on the link in the description there and go check out Rachel Legends. But now let's go dive into the first attack here and let's see Raze bring down a base. And then we have a whole bunch of more live action, including more attacks by Raze. So stick around all the way to the end. Let's go do it. All right, guys, we got a live attack here. Let's jump into Ray's. He's coming in here to smash this one with a Queen Charge Miners with the new Siege Machine. This is interesting. Ray's going to try to set a new meta here. Let's see what he can do with this. Going in with a Baby Dragon, Coco Loon up at 130. Bowler bouncing the uh, Gold Mine with the Dark Elixir Drill. I really don't know how this is going to go. I don't know. I've never seen this attack before, but let's see what he can do with it. He's starting with that queen. She's got the jump spell, so it looks like she'll pound through those storages and then jump into potentially all the way into the eagle. And he'll get the real champion out on the way in. Also, guys, notice there's some holes in the base right here. The camps have been resized, so if you've not gone through and fixed your bases, then make sure that you do so you don't have holes in your base here. So he's going to pop his ability, get to that royal champion, have a big test of farm popping up here. Hopefully that doesn't draw his queen off here. Healer's getting targeted a little bit now, but he is stepping into the base here, into the tornado trap, getting the scatter shot down, and working his way over to that archer tower that's working on his healers. He should switch that archer tower onto his queen now. He does. After after the healer goes down and he's pushing into the eagle artillery so probably going to come in on the miners uh probably from 12 o'clock i would assume because the queen can work her way through a lot of the stuff on the bottom but she is stepping into some danger area down here as she goes into multiple expos that she can't reach that's one of the most difficult ways to or one of the most difficult things about doing a queen charge in general but it uh, looks like a hound and a bunch of archers come out 15 archers and the hound pops Catching most of the pups there in the poison as the miners are sweeping through. King down on the bottom side with the royal champion. And there's the new siege machine going in to help funnel. So queen actually goes down here. That's going to make the miners switch over. She was kind of out, out of value anyway. So this isn't going to be a bad thing. He can have those miners carry all the way through the base there with those healers as they drive through. Looks like the P.E.K.K.A. 
and the wizards and the king are all converging on the town hall with the miners all together. Warden in tow. Warden actually stole the healers. That's not good. Hogs come out of the CC late. They're going to join up and start clearing on the outside here. That actually works out really nice here. Uh, losing a couple of healers to black mines. Got one more heal to work with, and he's going into another inferno and scatter shell. Let's see if he still has enough punch here. Holding off on that last heal because the healers have switched over to the miners. So this is still looking pretty good here. Needs to hold on to that heal for the scatter shot. Here they go. He's starting to get hit by the scatter shot. Needs to think about using it now as he goes into the inferno. But the healers are still working on those miners. Here we go into the final little area here. He's got both, actually three heroes alive here. All the heroes are alive except for that queen that went down early. Level two. Only a level two royal champion working her way through, but these new max level miners are just wrecking through. Looking really good. Ray's going for the triple here. I think he's got a 20 seconds to go. Look at all the wizards, the P.E.K.K.A., everything from that new siege barracks surviving to the end here and causing some awesome damage here. And Ray's brings home the triple. New meta? Maybe. Maybe that was a brilliant idea to use that. I don't think there was a better choice of siege machine out there than to go with that king and travel along and push those miners back towards the center of the base there. Brilliant use of the new siege machine by race. We got Zilius coming in here with a Sui hero Lalu. Let's see what he can do with this. Zilius attacking Hansen here, coming in with the king out on the corner here, probably setting up to send his queen to Sui in there and get as much value as she can. Let's see what we can do with it. Got a couple of minions there funneling out. Queen comes down. Queen's in a looking like she's just going to walk the top side of the base here with the king. They are, they are staying together. There's a big hole in the base here. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that, but now comes the royal champion. The royal champion will work ahead of the queen here, looking like she's trying to dive in there while the queen is actually doing a little bit of tanking there. And the queen actually rounds the corner here. The royal champion is going to step up and get into that inferno. So that's going to get some decent value out of that. She's going to get distracted by some ground skellies there and potentially not get that inferno. She freezes up the expo that could get through. Gets it down. Does he get the expo too? Not quite. Oh, wait. Yeah, gets it. Gets it. All right. Now the queen finishing off the little extra value that she can get there since she did ultimately go the wrong way. That actually worked out quite nice for him. In comes the stone slammer. In comes some hounds. And here comes the blues coming in from the top side. Going to start to collapse and work her way around the base ending on the town hall. A little bit risky here. He's going to have to use the... Gonna have to use the skeleton spells to not only take out the queen, but also take out the enemy royal champion here. Let's see where that royal champion is. Looks like dragons are gonna take out the royal champion. And then he can use the skeleton spells on the queen. Dragons get the royal champion down. Rage comes down for the queen. Uh, where's the warden? Where's the warden? Warden's over on the left group, so that's gonna go towards the town hall. That's gonna work out nicely. The rage, the dragons, and the skeleton spells all work together to get the queen down. He's into the town hall. Warden ability. Perfect. Gotcha. And into the final area, Exilius bringing it home here with the dragons in the CC, which is kind of necessary. He's got some archers there pinging down that he never used a poison on. Needs to get that poison down now. The balloons have turned to them. So have the dragons. He's got more than enough time here with a swag haste and a swag poison that he ended up not needing and brings it home. So nice hit. Uh, not the highest end base here. Uh, Hansa being our number 29 out of 30 is one of the lower ones, but still impressive and nice way to deal with that new Royal Champion on defense because you have to deal with both of them. You have to deal with the Queen and you have to deal with the Royal Champion because they both will pick off your balloons and your balloons won't fight back. We've got more guys. Live attacks going in all over. It's just a three-star frenzy here as Raze is going for the Queen Charge minor attack with the new siege machine guys Ray's, we just saw him coming in with this attack just a moment ago and he's going to try it again so he's got the jump to enter the base here and he has the new siege machine to pour troops out and to keep those miners centered into the base here let's see what we can do with it he had the king go with the miners or not with the miners with the siege machine Siege Barracks, I guess. Uh, last time, here comes the jump spell. Nice funnel here. He's going to push in, get to that Eagle Artillery. The Eagle Artillery is the most important thing to go after if this Queen will step in. She does. She goes with the jump. Was a little bit worried there. He drops in a couple Miners and a Wizard there just to make sure this Queen stays centered. It's worth it to make sure she goes in to sacrifice a few Miners, and he's definitely getting some good value out of that. So Queen on the inside doing some work. 
got to engage that CC. He's going to rage through and he's going to freeze up those Expos to make sure those Queens can get through that. Those Expos do a lot of damage. He's starting to get his healers targeted as he's going to engage the Hound and that is not good. If he can get that Expo down, that'd be huge. He doesn't. Expo, one shot away from going down. He's got the Siege Barracks up on the top corner as the Queen pops the Hound here. She's in trouble as her healers are going down. He freezes up the Inferno to try to save them. Let's see if he can still get this down. He's got the Miners engaging the Town Hall. He's got the Royal Champion there working with the Town Hall and he's got Hogs that came out of his CC. Town Hall goes down, pops his board ability. Queen has stayed alive. She pops her ability to get to the enemy Queen and he's into a bomb tower with those Hogs and the Miners at the same time. Gonna take some big hits there into the... Uh, into the scatter shot right after he comes off of that and into the inferno well placed heal there is going to get everything top back up uh looks like the queen went down but now the healers have switched over to the miners and they're going to start all working together there are hogs and the miners splitting to both infernos awesome split here one more heal to get the rest of the way through here there it is heal comes down hitting all the miners there and he's doing really really well the king breaks it outside pops his ability archers in the corners there to start picking off the trash there as the miners are on all defenses this is looking really solid for Raze as he goes into the final stretch here. Minute on the clock here, giving him plenty of time to clean this up, and he has the King working his way back into the defenses, getting back into the action as the Miners go to clean it out. He's got enough Miners on both sides to clean this one up. Another three-star with Raze with that new siege machine i'm loving this attack guys i am absolutely loving this use of the new siege machine awesome brilliant stuff here all right guys zealous is back in going for a hog miner hybrid attack is this the same guy zealous that's who we just saw we'll go in i believe so let's see what he can do here he's going in with the royal champion to go in pull the cc take out a few defenses and forming this funnel look at this queen's funnel now she's gonna be able to shoot directly into the town hall area wizards and balloons have formed out the funnel solidly and this queen's gonna be able to engage those enemy ice golems and bring them down very quickly here and he can get into the town hall and charge all the way in to the enemy enemy king to the grand warden he's got that wizard there going to take out that storage finishing off the funnel solidly and now some uh tips as we're waiting for him to get to his ice golems when we deploy the miners and the hogs in this hybrid attack we always want to deploy the miners first the reason for that is as the miners are working their way forward they're going to initially tank everything and lock down that damage then once they move forward and go underground with the hogs right behind them that will give the miners a chance to get healed up as the miners will then transfer all the defenses over to the hogs and allow the hogs to take over tanking and then the hogs will search out and forward get as much value as they can and then the miners will sweep down behind them and finish off the base here so starting off with the king over in the corner there he has the he has the siege machine, the the soul slammer there coming on delay or excuse me not coming it's not even there yet the queen's still doing some good work there rages she goes through that little channel there going into some heavy fire with those expos as the miners and the hogs are sweeping through the top side now comes the stone slammer and this would have been another good time i think to mix in the new siege machine if the new siege machine came with the king right there it could get some massive value and then drop out some hogs later but the siege uh, the stone slammer, I mean, is doing a good job there. Queen beating through a max level wall there. That's going to take a little while. Those things got a lot of health, and it will be a slow trudge there. But she's not in any danger, though. So she can just kind of take her time, work her way through that uh, wall there. He's got the stone slammer finally opened up, dropping out more max level hogs. And the miners doing a good job sweeping in behind the hogs. The hogs have actually survived quite a while, and he's out of spells. No, he still has a heal spell. He still has a heal spell. He's absolutely crushed this one. And I think I think he would have crushed it even harder there if he used the new siege machine. But Exil is bringing it home here. And crushing this one with the hog miner hybrid mix. So many troops left over. This was this was beautiful, guys. This was absolutely beautiful. Nice hit. And Raze goes down right after he smashes two of their bases. Brilliant. All right, guys, we got a live attack here. It's uh, Zillis going in, and he's got a cloned dragon attack here, or electron dragon attack, I should we call it, because he's going to drop two clones there with the rage, and he goes off like a bomb in that area. Can he get the enemy queen down as well? He does. One shots her. That new level four E-drag getting some serious damage there, and the balloons spread out here. He's got the enemy royal champion over in the corner there. The balloons are going to work their way through the test as their potential. We got another live attack here, and we'll... Uh, 
uh, bounce over to that one if this one goes south and see what's going on there. But we got the king coming in from the top corner. Got a dragon to assist him, and he still has his queen and his royal champion here. So let's see what they can do. The king is forming the funnel taking out everything on the outside. The queen comes down to help out. He has the ward ability that can carry him through the two air defenses here if he so chooses to do that, or he can just freeze them up. He can just freeze them up here. There, he freezes one of them, so he's just gonna fight through the other one. And his queen and his king are on the outside here. The king decides he wants to go through the wall, so he's gonna sit there until he gets rerouted there. Now he's rerouted as the dragons take out his targets. He's got the royal champion coming in from the nine o'clock corner, ward ability down as he approaches the other air defense and taking those e shot so nice value out of that he still has to get through that town hall though and he could take out the town hall with his heroes but the queen went down to critically low health there as she was taking some fire there i didn't see exactly what was hitting her but she's down to low health the royal champion working her way to the town hall gonna freeze up that town hall as everything collapses as once into it it's gonna be uh taking some heavy damage here from the blast queen goes down to the blast there but a lot of the other troops have survived there's not a lot left to the space here minute and a half freezes up the warden statue and the bomb tower didn't really do anything but the warden statue is one of the heaviest hitters right there so correct choice on that last freeze there and the king still doing some good work there the cannon pinging down on him but there is a big group here three dragons nope two dragons now does he have enough here to finish it off he's got that royal champion he's ending on and even a lower level royal champion doesn't quite hit as hard as that level 21 but still is a threat here and the level 42 grand warden pinging down doing about 250 damage per second and that's a lot of damage that's about half as much as an air defense so you definitely got to get him down does go down he's got one dragon left his king has gone down can he still get this 45 seconds one dragon left minions are down it's just down to the warden now can you get that down does get it down. The dragon's going to survive here for just a minute. He has to get to that royal champion. This one's going to be close, guys. This one's going to be really freaking close. He's got a couple archers here that he can use for distraction as he engages that royal champion. Here it comes. Can he get that royal champion down? How tough is that royal champion? Here it goes. Two archers to just pull her off here. Oh, no. Is this going to work? Get her down. Get her down. Get her down. Does she go... Oh, he goes after the camp, skips over the royal champion, doesn't even need to take her down, and gets the three star. Wow, lucky, lucky, lucky. I don't know if the royal champion could uh, take down that enemy warden, but we don't have to find out right now because lucky. Wow. What a crazy war that was, guys, but one hive ends up taking the win. So that's going to be it for today. Thanks, everybody, for coming out and joining me. But don't forget to go down in the description of the video and click on that link for Raid Shadow Legends. I am playing that a lot, like I said. And if you guys want to come play it with me, then join my clan. Join one hive in Raid Shadow Legends and come join me. All right, guys, that's it for today. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.